Robbie's really getting nervous over there. All right, Robbie, you okay to hit the button if you want to? I mean, you can hit the button whenever you want. Also, can we just talk about how wrinkled this sweatshirt is right now? Bro, it's been in the back of my car forever. Well, I mean, I played myself. Yeah, you got to wait. I thought I was going to have to leave. Oh, you were hoping not to see me for this long. Yeah. I get that. You sound just like my dad. Tell me something. <laughs> Actually, I sound, I sound like your dad to you. Are you Way more accurate. Why are you looking around like you've never seen the studio before? <laughs> it's just, it's closer right now. We well, gotta brighten you up because, you know, you, you put so it on. translucent. Yeah, you really need it. Why are you so white? It's October. That's, it's October 2nd. That's not, and it was 80 degrees today. That's not, I mean, I, I tried to be in the sunlight today. Yeah, but, so there's no excuse for you to be that pale, is there? I've been protecting my skin well welcome lords and friends it's me your boy miss everybody and i'm joined today with my co-host mar ma <laughs> so mar today is we're going to talk a little bit about fitness because it's been about a year since i beat you in the fitness competition i know i saw the memories on my phone it w- said a year was it, ago was it really a year ago mm-hmm. jesus do you think you beat me now i don't know what are you on i mean i should have beat you last time uh-huh. Don't even. Uh-huh. Yeah, everyone who was there know what hap- knows what happened. Theo barely knew. Theo was there and he barely knew what happened because he threw no, up in the first Theo 10 minutes. <laughs> Theo actually wasn't there. He was there for 10 minutes, threw up. And he might have won if he actually just. But I knew that you both would show up unprepared. So I no matter how prepared. out of shape I was. but Okay, so let's just explain what you're doing right now under the table because people are probably curious. <laughs> what are you doing under the table? We're do, you said we're doing a fitness yes. episode. So I went to the car and I got my little Amazon Stim machine. Uh huh. So what is that for people like me that don't have okay, no idea? Okay, so what's it's on. like electricity uh-huh. that gets put through the patches, and you put the patch like on your muscle, and then it like it's telling my brain that that muscle exists. So are, are you working out right now? Not working out, but like my brain is like connecting to my quad. Are you done with those? Can we put those on me? You want to wear these so bad. I want to wear them so like you. It can, says you shouldn't put them on your head. Should we put it on your head? I just feel like <laughs> you like to drink piss and things. So <laughs> this piss drinking thing will never die. Um, I feel like we should start with like my arm or my chest, my I, nipples. I feel like Novak would call you a bitch. No, um, I mean let's start there and see where we're at. And then uh, on your nipples. Yeah, we can start nipples. Okay. How do how do I do this? Um. Okay. Hold on. So we're gonna we're gonna put some muscle muscle things on my nipples. Yeah, I've been using these because I'm trying to like strengthen the relationship between my left quad in and particularly. No, and my brain. Uh huh. Because it it's not turning on the same way as yeah. it is with my right. But here. All right. So how do we do? All right. Let me... Here we pull. Pulling. All okay. right. So there's two little. I just put it on my nipples. Yeah. They are sticky. You were saying they weren't sticky before. That's not what I said. They weren't I just giving... said I didn't know if I wanted them sticking to your nipples, yeah, but so, here we are. All right, so right now I'm Actually okay. They're already on there, so I, I know. Well I was gonna say do you want do you want both? Do you what want do you, do you want to put two on that nipple and two on this nipple? Why what would be the difference? Extra razzle dazzle. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know how I can fit two on my all nipples right, though. So, <laughs> put it see? I'm a hairy man! No, why don't you put, like, it above your, like, put it as a, no, like a nipple sandwich. This? Okay. No, put them on the same one. Uh, this on the same yes, one? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. There, and then put this one on that one. Oh, oh, pull again. Uh, so strong, it's hard. Oh, my God, wait, don't break it. You're the one telling me to pull. Hold on. So you guys are ready for this nipple this play, is, right? This is, like, the consent that we were just talking about before this we started the- where you said that. What did you say? I said, if there's no not a no, it's a yes. No. That's if it's not a fuck yes, it's a no. I can take this thing off, right? Yeah. Plastic thing? Yeah. All right, so All right. I'm just going to be pumping, you know, <laughs> my girl's pregnant, so I'm trying to figure out what it's like to pump. That's not the same. Basically the same thing. It's not. <laughs> it's literally not. All those girls that are mad at me for all, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like this one's, oh! <laughs> Okay, so I feel, oh, 
But right chat, I'm fucking pumping iron, bro. Like, you guys think you're strong? <laughs> so strong. I, gotta, I feel like I gotta show the world. So, my nipples are good. Just. Ah! <laughs> All right, my ears! <laughs> Does it look like I'm working? Ah! Ah! All right, my ears! And I'm like still here feeling irritation on my leg. Probably. Like, I, I feel like my, my nipples were on fire, but I got so pumped right now. I can get fucking GTL, bro. Like, oh dude, I've been God. watching YouTube videos about it, and like, I my don't nipples? know. I, you guys know how I feel about brains. So like, I just think that anything, <laughs> I think anything is possible. So I'm like, I mean, it makes sense that it, it would at least help a little bit. I would assume like, it's not hurting. This is the most I've ever rubbed my nipples before on the show. Not just in general, because I run my nipples all the time at home. But Ooh, that made my uh, those were good belly lifts. <laughs> I feel I feel so in shape. So, ah oh, man, oh, sorry, my chest is going a little crazy. So I was kind of getting nervous. I was like, is this gonna like induce a heart attack? Because Ash will literally <laughs> pitch me the fuck out, bro. How did I look with the shirt off? Do I look fat? No. Do I? I don't look fat. I look good. No, you look great. But I, so, are so you, you working out so that you don't look fat? No, I work out mostly for like, well, there's definitely a component of looking better. I mean, obviously, we talked about that on that episode. But yeah, I mean, it's also like, I mean, definitely, I don't, I can't tell if I'm vain or not. Like when I grew the beard, I got, I started looking better. So I, don't I know. mean, what is vain? You like, you care what, about the way you look. Is it, why is that a bad thing? I don't think it is. I mean, I feel like people should take pride in how they look. Yeah, so. Like, if you're fat... Or not, like, should, but if they want to, they can. That's yeah, how I feel. I think you should be self-aware about the way you look. So, if you're fat, I think you should tell yourself that you're fat so you have a fucking basis where to start your working out at. Like, if you just go into working out thinking you're beautiful and you're a fucking unique butterfly... I mean, they can be beautiful fat. Yeah, but you should know that you're fat. Because there's a but lot of... that doesn't make... A lot of big people are like, I'm fine. equal ugly. Never said that. But you're saying fat people should know... Like if you're, they're if fat. you should know that you're, all right, so. I mean, I'm sure someone knows when they're not, I mean, I'm I, not even like skinny. I didn't know I was fat until I saw myself on camera. During the podcast, I was like, oh shit, I'm fat. You didn't know. I did not know. When you're fat, you're just in bliss. Like, wee! I was drunk eating food every day. <laughs> like, hey, this is fucking great. I'm, I look great right now. I don't even, and I have a beard, so I can't see my chins. No idea about that. And I saw myself on camera. I was like. Oh shit, I, now I know. But there's plenty of people out there that don't realize that they're fat because they're not on camera every day. And you can have a good angle. Like, oh, that's why. I know. I, My whole family, when I was growing up, they'd always be like, you're so photogenic. And I'd be like, so you think I'm ugly in real life? Why? What? Like, you think I'm ugly in real life? No. That's kind I, of what that means. No. I don't. No. That's not what it means. It just means you're, you look good. What are you talking about? That's like a compliment. Yes, but like, no, you're saying you have like a good side. Like sometimes you really can finesse a camera. But I, so I think people, I don't like when people say like, you have a bad angle. Like don't take that. That was my bad angle. If you take a picture of somebody, you go, oh, that was a bad angle. No, it's not a bad angle. That's just how fat you are in that, in that position. Like, I mean, sometimes there are bad angles. I don't, I think the angle is just, but you, people like in their brain will conceptualize it as I'm not fat. That was just a bad angle. Like that fat doesn't actually exist. What if they're like, I am fat and that was a bad angle. <laughs> so that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but so going back to it though, I think you need to know if you're fat though. Cause a lot of people don't know that they're fat and just think that they, they look good. No, people just don't care that they're fat. And what? it's like a vibe. They're like, Oh, I'm fat. It's like, okay, sure. <laughs> but I know some people who are like, that, like fat phobic. What does that mean? Like they see fat people and they're just like, think they're like the scum of the earth because they're fat, which is like, that's not true either. I mean, it definitely tell, tells you how lazy you are. 
Or maybe you just didn't know better until you know better. Until you saw yourself on camera, you're like, that's a big fucking belly, bro. But, like, also, like, I don't know. Like, if you grow up with a family where, like, no one's working out, everyone's eating junk food, and, like, everyone has, like, extra weight, then, like, you don't really think that maybe, like, you're, something's wrong with you. Yeah, it's definitely, there's an inherent laziness. And But it's not lazy. That's just what it is. Like, they don't think that that's lazy. They're just, that's not what they do. They're not anti-lazy. But they are lazy, though, inherently. Their family's I, I all lazy. I get what you're saying. But I'm saying I don't think people think about it like that. I don't think that they... I know, but... I don't think, like, fat people would be like, oh, I'm lazy. Like, it's just like, oh, like, that, like obesity runs in my family. And, like, goes, I work a lot of jobs, so I don't have time to exercise. And, like... But that goes back to my factual starting point. If okay. you want to get into fitness or if you want to know something about yourself, you need, like, if you have cancer, you have to know that you have cancer. You're going to start doing treatment for that. If you're fat, you should know that you're fat. And a lot of people... Today, like, you're perfect no matter which way you are. Yeah, sure, you can be perfect with your fucking... But you should know that you're fat. I mean, fat is out. Unhealthy is in. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Calling somebody's fat is mean? Yes. Like, I mean, it's not a great... Well, no one's going to be like, okay, like, I'm, f like, I'm going to work out just... I mean, a lot of people just work out because they're fat, allegedly. But, like, that's part of the problem, I feel like. Like, it shouldn't be about whether you're fat or not. There are plenty of people who are, like, heavier people that are healthy, mm -hmm. and they exercise every day, and they, you know, eat, like, a nutrient-dense diet, but maybe that's just, maybe they eat a lot of nutrient-dense <laughs> things, and they're just bigger I eat, people. I eat pasta and pizza every meal. It's a lot of nutrients. <laughs> right, yeah, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are like that. But, I mean, it's kind of like, I feel like it's got to be hard to get like, sometimes people are, like, really big people. Yeah, and they should know that they're big. And But I don't like people that say it's, like, normal. Like, it's not normal to be obese. Mm -mm. Are you agreeing or disagreeing? No, I that? agree. It's not normal. And a lot of people now... But I think a lot of times we're made to believe it is normal. To be obese? Yes. So we're... I think oh, we're, America. Like, America is, you know... Thicker people, da, yeah. da 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 Like we enjoy the finer things. Like no man, she's like we're definitely not doing our best. That's how Robbie got the way he is. I mean, look at him. But it's like America. he has so many other things. Like he's an he's a business owner. He's a dad. Not, he's a husband. So <laughs> You're busy. Bro. No, but like, <laughs> damn. If you bro. never prioritized, if you never prioritized damn. being active, why all of a sudden would you just be like, you know what, today? <laughs> Just for fun, I'm going to start changing my whole routine. Yeah, I got to like schedule that in there. Yeah, yeah, it's like a whole extra thing. It's not like an easy thing per se. So, Robbie, you are fat. All right, got you. <laughs> I'm going to work on this. <laughs> You're not fat. You're just not. Big boned. I know. They always say it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I, this is like my pet peeve right now. Like. My friend kept being, like, this guy, he kept being like, oh, like, when I get skinny. I'm like, bitch, this is not about you getting skinny. This is just literally about you being healthy. Like, you don't have to move to get skinny. I don't give a shit if you're not skinny. I care that you're, like. But he's setting a goal for himself, and then you're pretty much jumping, like, stepping on saying, his goal. why are you being mean to yourself in the midst of it? It's not but, doing anything for you. But guys you. don't see it as mean. No, but their subconscious mind does. But they're starting from a factual standpoint. They know right now they're fat. For themselves, it doesn't yeah, mean... Yeah, like you could do better. Yeah. Cool. So, so he's, he's awesome. excited. His idea is, I can't wait to go to Disney World. You're like, you're never going to go to Disney World. You're stupid. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> Basically what you said. I mean, poor Robbie's over there crying in his fucking crispy... Cr <laughs> no. <laughs> this whole thing is an intervention for fat fuck Robbie. I, mean it. <laughs> I don't know. I think that uh, for me, like a lot of times people will be like, because... Well, Tata always says, she's like, you need to tell the story about how you got hot. Because, like, I had a lot of weight on me. Like, right now, I'm probably sitting at, like, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and 155 to 160 pounds. But there has been a time where I was, like, the same height and, like, 180 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So how did you get motivated to start working out? I just, I started, well, you, you already know how I think. I like to, like... Started scissoring? I don't know. No. <laughs> like, I started doing deep dives on, like, manifestations in the sense of, like, mantras and things like that and just, like, talking to yourself differently. And I think that when I started to, like, change my why for why I was moving my body, 
like things started changing easier for me. Like I wasn't like, I would, I changed my like perspective from being like, Oh, like you should be smaller. Like, uh, I wish I was skinnier. Like I hate myself to being like, okay, I love myself. So I'm going to move my body and I don't really give a shit if I'm skinnier. I want to be able to like run around and be active and like do a pull up and like, but did you see stronger. yourself fat in a picture and you're like, I need to change this. And, but I also need to change my relationship with what I think getting in shape is. Yeah. 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 I think so I wouldn't say skinny. just a picture. So you wanted to get skinny? No, I wanted to just feel better in my body. So the thing with, for me, a lot of guys, it's like, we've talked about this before, don't be a bitch. And you take that as a woman thing, which has nothing to do with women. No, I don't. I know what you're saying. Like, we have David Goggins. Like, David Goggins. I know. Everyone loves David Goggins. And different things work for different people. So I'm like a Joe Dispenza girly. I'm not going to. Joe Dispenza? Yeah. What's that? He's another author, speaker. Same thing. It's just his narrative is different. Like, but it's still pushing towards the same, like higher self. Does he talk the same way as no? Because David Goggins is kind of like stop being a bitch. That's dude. David Goggins is fucking. Do women have a David Goggins? Um. Well, yeah. It just depends on what your vibe is. But is there a a woman version of David Goggins? I'm sure. But you have not found them. I personally don't enjoy that. I don't, I'm like a praise kink words of affirmation girly so i want to like speak life into things and be see, nice to things see i want people to tell me that i'm fat all the time it's because i've been comfortable so i went i was almost at 185 i'm now like 190 to 195 mm-hmm. depending on the day because i got lazy because i got a compliment once oh you look oh, a few times i got a compliment where i was like Not oh him winking at literally no one i'm, looking, I'm <laughs> winking at the camera for whenever you guys watch this or girls, whatever you are. Um, so, <laughs> no, I got too many compliments and I got fucking too secure in myself. And now I'm like, I'm definitely fatter. I haven't ran in like six months because I got too many compliments. If people were just telling me that I'm fat every day, I'd be fucking one Why don't you other. just work out because you're about to have a son that you're going to have to chase I around the yard? I'm going to the gym all the time, but I'm not running as much as I like to. Well, maybe you should because guess what? A three-year-old's book it. I agree. So call me fat. Somebody call me fat, please. Every day. Why don't you just not have to care about what other people, if other people think you're fat and just be like, oh, I'm a dad and I'm going to run this shit because I'm Jack's dad and Jack's going to run too for fun. I don't think it's necessarily like, I just like to be put down. uh, Exactly. I'm an exact opposite of it. What's that? uh, Anti praise. You're a simp. No. That would be a simp. No, a simp cares a lot about what other people say. No, they want to be like, like dominated. I don't want to be All dominated. Right, no, wait, not a simp. You're like a sub, basically. Like a, su- you like a be... sub teacher? Sure. Yeah, I, I feel better no, about myself. No, like a sub dominant. I want people to like, like in order to motivate me, you have to make fun of me. And, it, and this goes back to Robbie's family growing up. <laughs> You're like a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> we all live it. So speaking about my insecurities. So we go to the gym a lot lately. I think if you flex in the mirror, you're super insecure with yourself. I disagree. Why? You think that you, I be in the mirror flexing because I never flexed before and now I can flex. And I'm like, whoa, I literally homegrown Mm. on American soil, this muscle. Yes. I grew that shit myself. Mm -hmm. So I flex and I look and I'm like, let's fucking go. Even when I was in super duper shape, like, you know, I was like, I'm good. I never flexed. I probably flexed. You should celebrate yourself. No, I just think it's weird that this is a celebration of yourself. This is fucking jerking off at the gym. You're like, oh, look at me. Look at me. That's all it is. If you want to flex. Who and cares? See, if you want to see Why how good. Why do you care? It's fucking weird to do. I think it shows your insecurity. You're like, I need to show. Some people it. are like, literally like they go to flex in class. They go to a flexing class. Yes. That's they sad. have posing teachers. What do you mean? It's sad. It's a sport. Yeah, if you're in the sport, but I'm talking about just the normal people that are just like, eh, why? They eh. literally just spent 18 months, five days a week building this shit. Do that shit at home. I don't want to see you jerking your dick here. Why? They just got a pump. Dude, go peacock at home. You're going to get the same fucking pump. No. Why no? Because they're in the gym and they just lifted all the weight. So they're, they got extra juice in their muscles right now. And they're like, let's fucking go. 
<laughs> Robbie's flexing. Right. And his, he has four chins right now. It's funny. And also, <laughs> like, I used to be like, whenever I would see girls in the gym with like sports bras and stuff, I'd be like, Ugh. but really that was just a projection of me not being able to do that. So now that I do wear literally basically nothing to the gym, I'm like, I have that mind body connection because I can like see the muscles doing the things. So Does if you, that make sense? if a guy's looking at you and you're wearing that, do you feel, what do you feel like? Depends on what the vibe is. Just you're working out a guy's looking at you. What do you think? I, I don't know if you've seen the videos of me working out, but I literally have turned like fully pink and I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> so I'm like, you see this work I'm putting in? Let's go. Match it or don't fucking look at me. Do you, so you like guys and girls, which makes sense to me because they're both attractive. Right. Girls mostly for me, but um, guy here, I've seen other guys do this, not saying I do it. They pick <laughs> the machine closest to the most attractive woman. It's just weird, but. Do you do that? Do I do that to men? Men or women. Oh, no. So if you see, say there's like five open ones and there's a super hot girl all the way to the left, old dude to the right, where do you feel more comfortable going? I'm probably just going in the middle because I don't want to be near either of them. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, because I don't want to seem creepy, so I'll probably, I'll choose to go near the old guy. I'll go closer to the old guy. He's probably going to want to chat. I'm going to have my headphones. I mean, I'll never go on a treadmill. I think a treadmill is terrible. I think you should run outside. Treadmill is shit, but. I mean, what if it's raining? What if it's raining in the gym? Oh, you're being outside. I think it's even better than you're showing that you're not a fucking bitch. (sighs) You're so broken. I'm broken. <laughs> you have to microdose your way through the week. And I'm go I'm fucking living life fucking thick out. Knowing that you know, being realistic with my dick, but you have to You're just talking shit about people who run on treadmills. How about we just get excited that they're running? I'm excited. But I'm saying I'd rather run outside. Okay. So your preference is outside running. <laughs> but inside running is cool too. <laughs> I think it's funny. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He's like, fuck. So Mara, Mara <laughs> thinks like when guys talk shit, that's like the worst thing they can do. No, I think that everyone is just programmed to talk shit and no one's even a- considering like maybe this, there's other options. But like me and Robbie, when like we had to take a picture of each other the other day after the episode and we felt so awkward because we never taken pictures of each other. We feel more comfortable talking shit to each other than it would be taking a picture of each other. Yeah, because we're programmed from a it's funner. young it's just young age no because you've never even tried to like actually like use your words to use be like words all the time yeah i'm like on a podcast once of, a week yeah, no but you know <laughs> i use our I mean. words pretty well like instead of being you, like i love you bro <laughs> right you know what i mean you're fat right <laughs> and that's, he loves me though I like that. justin's like uh yeah you instead of being like oh you did a great job today he'd be like I mean, that was the worst fucking podcast I've ever, like, experienced in my life. It's like, you could just be like, we killed it today. I've but never once said this is the worst podcast. Well, that one time. I mean, this probably been, I, I've definitely been pissed after podcast, but there hasn't been, like, one in my head where I was like, well, there's one in my head that really pisses me off, but not during the time. Which one was that? Talk to us. About the one that was released as a bonus episode and will never be released as anything more. Inside. When was Love it free s- released? Tonight, the inside scoop, or when Justin wasn't happy? Uh, two or three weeks ago. Oh, wow, I didn't even see. Yeah, because I'm not promoting that. I'm what, fucking two crying. or three weeks ago. Yeah, you did what? I released the episode that from the people that how to do? Not good because I didn't promote it. Oh, you did? I didn't even see that. Exactly. That, Quiet that's as what fuck. I'm saying. Quiet <laughs> as fuck, but I still want the views because YouTube's got to pay us. So doesn't matter to me. Damn, I didn't see that. I ain't telling nobody. Well, now you know if you guys are watching this one. <laughs> Fuck you guys, but check our YouTube. <laughs> so, so, all right, I got to, I hate saying I got a question because I'm just trying to change the subject. And obviously, you have a question here's a podcast, Justin. That's fucking stupid. How do girls know if they're pretty, if guys are just always nice to you, no matter what you look like? Guys aren't always nice to you, no matter what you look like. You had a mean guy to you? Justin, I tell you this literally multiple times a week. I've asked you when you lost weight if guys started looking at you different and you said no. That's not true. That's 100% true. Can you find that clip? It's not a clip. It's just an episode. A whole episode I said no. <laughs> I said, I asked you 
if when you lost weight, did you notice that people looked at you differently? You said no. Okay, well, that's not true. Mm-hmm. Okay, so <laughs> when you lost weight, what did people start looking at you differently as? I mean, also, my view of myself changed. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure I perceived people seeing me differently. But, I mean, when I went to Nashville, there was, like, this one moment where I was walking down the street and I had on, like, I can set a picture, honestly, so we can put it on the screen. But I had on, like, these little black boots, cowgirl boots, black little, like, Daisy Duke shorts, a black V-neck halter top, and I had my hair up, and I was just walking down the street, and I literally, like, witnessed guys to the each other be like yo 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 and then them all look and i was like that was fucking awesome so were you fat or skinny skinny this is last <laughs> this is like six months ago i i noticed but that was like the first time that's ever happened to me i've noticed when i so i always had really big arms i don't really have them anymore but i worked out a lot i noticed the first thing girls would do is they would look at my arms and they would find an excuse to touch my arm no matter what it was really you've never done you've def, every girl's ever done that I mean, if I want to touch your arm, I'm just going to do it. Yeah, but like normally there'll be a conversation. Oh, you're so funny. And then go like that. I'd be like, what the fuck? That's probably what I would do. (laughs) (laughs) So I've noticed now like nobody looks at my fucking arms anymore. It makes you sad. It makes me a little sad. You know what's funny is there was this guy that I used to get really upset about. at Puerto Rico. Uh Uh-huh. And like the one time when I like cut him off, I was like crying to Marissa about it. And I was like, dude. He doesn't even have arms. Like, why am I crying about this man? Mm-hmm. So I, I guess it's a real thing. I thought you were more, in, are you more into hands or arms? I know you're a big hands girl. I do love hands. I'm a sucker for hands. <laughs> are you into like watching a guy jerk himself off then? I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> How like, disgusting are Justin's hands? <laughs> Look at his hands. They're sickening. Aren't they kind of like. They're just like. He had, I have, I mean, I have fat fingers too, but so do you. (laughs) I think it's a white person thing. Well, Robbie, you're coming at white people. Is this a racist thing? Hate white people. (laughs) Well, it makes sense. You look, you look like one of those racists that I've seen many times in my life. You just have like fat, um, like joints. (laughs) We had a friend growing up who had really fat hands. Do you remember his nickname, Robbie? His dick name? His his nickname. (laughs) It's like, (laughs) what the fuck? We used to call him Puddles because when he put his hands out, his knuckles would go underneath his fat. <laughs> it's the best nickname. Do you remember, remember Pisani? Yeah, yeah. I forgot that was his name. Not the real name, too. It's the last name. It could be any, any one of the family members. Danny. <laughs> Do you have a moment? If not, I'm going to go into something else. We can go back to it. Mm, I don't right now. So we're getting – me and Robbie – I've been friends forever. We were talking about friends earlier, a few seconds ago. Mm-hmm. And I realized I don't really have any, like, good friends besides Robbie, even if it was anyone else. Like, me and Robbie are good friends here, but, like, we don't really talk outside of here. Mm-hmm. How many group chats are you in right now? Like, none. I'm never in a group chat. Unless, mm-hmm. like, a work group chat. Are you really a friend then? Okay. Sometimes Marissa and Jules will put me in a group chat, and that's really it. I'm but, like, I know people who have, like, group chats, and I'm just like, what is that like? Yeah, I've never, I've probably been in one or two and they've always been work related. It's never been like, hey, let's all, Justin's funny. Let's just have him in here. Oh yeah. Like Jules is in like group chats. Well, Jules is just fucking Jules. It's like a built, it's like a bulletin board. <laughs> They're just like, they all know all of these things. I'm like, what, how? <laughs> and another good sign of like being a friend of somebody is sending somebody reels. Does anybody send you reels? Like memes? Yeah. Yeah. How many people send I said, oh, honestly, that's like a whole stream of communication. Sometimes I don't even talk to someone, but like we, like right now, my friend who lives in LA, he just got engaged to this girl. And so I started following the girl and she's also from Philly too, but whatever. But I know that for her birthday, he took her to go pet cows and cows are my favorite animal. And so. To pet cows. Yeah. It's like therapeutic. But cows have been my favorite animal since I was like since I started getting stuffed animals. So I would always... Since you were fat? Yeah. So I would be like, oh, like Mr. Moo, like give me the cows, like whatever. And so now I know that she's a safe space for me to sell, send cow content to, but like her and I have never met in real life. That's the weirdest fucking relationship of anyone to ever have. I'll just be like, look how cute. Like, I literally have only one person to send memes to. 
I've sent you Your a reel twice. Mom. Yeah, that's it. I've sent like two reels to you and you've responded to one. I was like, what's the point of even having this relationship with reels if she's not even going <laughs> to fucking respond to them? She barely responds to text messages, let alone reels. True. True. I don't even have one with Robbie. Me and Robbie don't even send each other reels. Yeah, I don't do that with many people though at all. Do you have anyone that you send reels with? I guess my wife a little bit. Yeah, so are we even friends? I don't do you do it want with to, like do you want that? I want more people to send me reels. I need more jokes, you know. Do you need that from me? He wants to I mean, laugh more. I, I need more laughing and love in my life. Live, laugh, love. That's a thing, Robbie. I'm gonna try for you. <laughs> maybe, I'll make a conscious effort. Fun. It might be fun. I might enjoy it. What would you like what content would you, would you send me that would be funny, like between us? <laughs> like probably like Jack a- Jackass S anything. It could be a lot of different things. Mar, what would you send me? I don't know. <laughs> You always send me, like, reels that'll be a white guy with a beard and a bald head. And you're like, look, I look like everyone. I'm like, okay. But I do look like everyone. You don't. There's so many people I look like, though. No. You look like nobody. I look like so many people. How many? (laughs) God damn, Mar, disagree with me. (laughs) (laughs) Do you you enjoy disagreeing with me? I said okay. That was my consent to... Going so, to the next topic. So you're saying that you didn't say no, so it was a yes. No, I think that fuck yes is like the only answer and everything else, if it's not like a, a hell yeah, mm-hmm. then it's probably a no. <laughs> and if it's probably a no, it's a no. Mm. But sometimes you're bored, so you're like, oh, I'll entertain a probable no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it a could board, be something so just, else. Just Maybe it'll change. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go to his house and act like I'm going to do stuff, but just fall asleep and yell at him if he tries anything. Maybe. <laughs> or you just set the tone like before. Mm. Whatever. Don't get me started on that. I have to teach all the girls that in my life. They'll be like, how do you just like not have sex? What do you mean? Like you just say, hey, I'm down to do X, Y, and Z, but I'm not down to do this. Let's see if a, so if I was single and a girl came over and she was like, Before I come over, I'm not trying to have sex. I would feel like there was even more pressure that she wanted to have sex. Mm. Like if she, if you said nothing and you were coming over, I was like, oh, we might have sex. But if you're like, I don't want to have sex. I feel like you were teasing me. No, no, no. It would have to be like in the moment. Like you don't assume that someone's only calling you over to have sex. But like if you're on the couch and like you're cuddling and then things start, you start making out. And then like there's over the clothes, like over the clothes feeling. It's like. The, that would be like kind of like, hey, I'm enjoying our time, but like I'm not trying to do anything past this point. And then usually it's like, okay. See, I would be cool with that, but I feel like it would be a mind game. In my mind, I'm like, no. they just want me to try harder. So no. I'm going to fucking hold her down. <laughs> no, and this is why I wish the mics were on before we started. I think the mics were on before we started. Damn, because Justin basically said that. <laughs> it was a it was a jolly joke, you know. Just a it's a fun. joke. It's always a fun joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, is there any games that you wish that we used to play here? What do you miss? Like, what do I look like? Or plead the fifth? Or is there any games that you want to bring back? Plead the fifth is good. You're always like Justin. You can't ask people that, and you can't make that a clip. And then. Or what was the other game? Well, Don't turn away. Because I keep away. getting roasted on the internet, and it's just annoying. Why do you care? Why do you care so much about what people say on the internet? Because I think racism is just the worst thing ever, and so I agree. that clip really just sent me. I agree. It was ridiculous, but I thought it was. Fun. But also, I'm like illiterate with sports, like legit, genuinely. So she's talking about a, a clip where. She said her least favorite football player of all time was Mike Vick. Which I didn't even actually say his name because I couldn't think of it in the yeah, moment. Because <laughs> she knows nothing about sports. Which, and I backed her up because I agree that Mike Vick was a terrible person. I mean, he's great at football. Well, but he, he could be different now, too. I yeah. do think people can change also. But yeah. Whatever. But everyone was like, white. They all, everyone on there Coming was like, white people crazy. are the worst. They like dogs more than humans, which I absolutely 100% do. So you can st- but also, like, I couldn't even name 10 football players, like, period. Yeah. Like, she, if you ask me, like, who my favorite football player is, I'm going with, like, McNabb. Oh, I thought you were going to say Hurts. No, but he's fine. Who's... I mean, he's doing good for us, I feel like. If you had to choose... No, no, no. Give me, like... Could you do five football players right now? Donovan that, McNabb. That are playing. Uh, Jalen Hurts, Travis Kelsey, 
Jason Kelsey. Oh yeah, everyone knows the Kelseys. Um, Frederick Johnson. <laughs> and I don't even know if that's a player or not. It is. He's on the <laughs> Eagles. Oh, oh, I know why you know. Okay. And the way she said it, it sounded like a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm I don't. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like Jason Marks. Thank you. <laughs> Jason Marks is a fake one. I'm kidding. If you had to pick a Kelsey brother to sleep with, which one would it be? Travis, because he's not married. But if Jason Kelsey was unmarried, <laughs> you're, what's like your type? Would your type be Jason or Travis? No, Travis would be more my type out of the two. I think that but tells a Jason lot about people. Seems like he would be just like a bro. I think that tells a lot about people. Like Robbie probably likes Travis Kelsey more. No, nah, definitely Jason Kelsey. You Jason seem like a Travis is like Kelsey a fam- like he's like a family man. Like yeah, J- I feel like Jason's way more likable than Travis. He's cool too. I like him. I feel like they're just good people. They're both cool. They're similar, but yeah, yeah they he, they have different like swags about them. Yeah. Like I feel like I would go take shots with Travis, but then me and <laughs> this, <laughs> is so, like- this is so. <laughs> <laughs> but me- <laughs> Right, every day. <laughs> but me and the brother would just go home and like talk about life, you know, just drink some beers together, just fucking you know, massage each other, whatever it is, talk about beards. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right. But no, there's definitely like, that'd be like, a, oh, if I was single, that'd be a good question. Who are you more into, Travis or Jason Kelsey? Because I'd be like, if they're into Travis, I'm like, there's no chance we're going to work out. Why? Because I feel like Travis Kelsey is like the single, like have fun guy. But if I'm looking for a relationship, I want people to say Jason. We, uh. Which one do you want to fuck, dude? Like, <laughs> <that's crazy. laughs> but it, tell, it tells you a lot about somebody because people no, that want to settle I, down no, like Jason and people that want to party. Know, you don't know what Travis Kelsey wants. I can tell you what his persona is. His Has pers- been, but the past doesn't equal the future. So you think him and Taylor Swift are going to work out? Who knows? Come on now. Taylor Swift never works out. That's not fair. That is Never. Fair. We talked about this when we talked about your things that you're going to do when you're a dad, and we're going to go with never going with never or always. How much you want to bet? Just like today when I knew you're going to be here past it, 7.30. I was so close, though. <laughs> but, I, but I knew. I knew. I was really close. And I gave two hours notice. It was 7.35, first of all. Oh. And I, I pulled I up at 34, but I knew I did walk in at 35. Okay. She's proud. Times. I am because I knew that I was going to be late, so I said, "Hey guys, let's push back thirty minutes, two hours prior," because I'm responsible in learning how to manage time. Which is crazy because every time she says seven o'clock, she just shows up at seven thirty anyway. So that's why I said, "Are you actually going to be here at seven thirty, or does that actually mean eight o'clock?" Because no, Mars times are crazy. I know it's bad. I got to get better. How are you doing with work? Because you're you now have a job. You're a working woman. Yeah. Are you showing up on time ever? No. How the fuck do you have a job? You know what? It's funny <laughs> because uh, my friend said this the other day. He's like, your boss told me that you're late all the time. I'm like, I am. And he's like, you can't be late to work. I was like, I literally told them the first day that I, the at my interview, I told them my toxic trait is that I am late. That's a crazy thing for anyone to hire you after you say that. That's what he said too, but I think that they just like appreciated my honesty. I mean, I'm never like more than like ten minutes late. You're thirty minutes late all the time. I know sometimes. That <laughs> so you immediately backtrack. Yeah, I made that shit up. <laughs> no, but sometimes I try to be within like a ten minute window. So the people that are covering your. It's usually it's not like that. Like it's fine. Is it fine to you because you're so out there that you don't realize that you're inconveniencing someone there's no, a single mom like, working working say- her way through college tendon bar and she's like i gotta get home to my kid the sitters watch them and then mar just comes no, in it's never like oh that. fairy guard of mindset it's only 30 <laughs> minutes what is time it's never like that it's always like i'm being added to the shift no one's ever getting like relieved from me you're always a supplement because they can't trust you whatever they trust <laughs> me with other things like what merch it's crazy that you're a merch girl somewhere yeah I'm about to be a merch girl multiple places. Have Has anyone, like, Barstool's pretty big. Has anyone from, like, Barstool came in, like, from, like, the content side? Not yet, but they just un, uh, announced the Unwell tour. So, I guess, like, Alex Cooper and that other girl. Uh, no, I don't really. She's not like Barstool call anymore. call her dad. Yeah. She's not Barstool anymore. She's represented by Barstool forever. 
Oh, well, she's not like... Spotify hosts a Barstool podcast. It's hers. Well, they host all the Barstool podcasts. Mm. But she's on her own now. She, like, she owns the IP and she's out of there. She's not a part. She's not a part. She might be affiliated with Barstool, but she's on her own. Really? Yeah, she's completely out of that. Out of Barstool? Yes. She's been out of there for like a year. Well, they just launched a whole network. Did I just make this up? Because I'm pretty sure I was right. Can you Google it? You literally yeah, have no, a computer you, right you here. You are right, because there's a whole thing that... Um, I thought that was the other girl. That Dave explained on um, Joe Rogan. He explained that whole thing. What did he say? Something about the deal, and then they, they had to, like... She left know. Barstool and looked with uh, Spotify. But I guess they still they have a friendly relationship, so I'm sure she still does stuff for them. But she's 100% on her own, rich as fuck. Well, I love that for her. Yeah, so. And she doesn't care about sharing content. So, <laughs> do you have a Mar moment or no? Like, what? Do you have a Mar moment? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? Say what you actually want to say. Do you have a Mar moment? No, before that. What are you talking about? She doesn't care to share content. She likes sharing content. Well, so, <laughs> you rumors, don't like sharing content. I don't like sharing all content. Uh huh. Sometimes I, I like the message it supports, sometimes I don't. And if I don't, I'm not sharing it. Take it away from the money you can make. But anyway, so. He keeps talking about this money. I'm like, I'm looking for it. We, we can't make it unless you share things. So let's get, how long we got, Robbie? 42 minutes. Oh, you didn't, we, this was supposed to be about exercising. We started with exercise, <laughs> then my nipples hurt for a while. And then we just kind of went like rogue. We're like, let's talk about something. Let's right. talk about whatever. And well, what were, you told me you're not allowed to flex anymore. What did I say? What, didn't he say that in the beginning? He was like, yeah, oh, sure. "No, I just he don't said, like we'll flexing. I think flexing is dumb. I think you look stupid <laughs> when you flex." Why can't you just be excited for yourself? You can do it in the mirror at home if you want. I, I would never do that, but you can if you want. I just think doing it in public's ridiculous. It's a. You're Why like, are you watching other people? I'm not supposed to look around at my fucking surroundings. You want to just fucking wave your dick around, and I'm not going to go. Oh, there's a dick there. I have to just fucking look at myself. Why don't you just look and be like, "Whoa." That's a dick there. <laughs> I often do say well when I see dicks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but you could just be like excited and then you you can flex with them. Or you could be like, maybe they can teach you how to flex better. No, I never want to flex. I think it's a weird form of like masturbation in public. But you make people watch things without consent. Look uh, at it. Look at the dimples. <laughs> <laughs> Loading. I think it's funny. Yeah. That's. A funny thing. They technically sign. There's full consent. Yeah, there's. Uh, they do sign. A con Thank you, Robbie. They do sign not, a consent. We're not pushing. No Y'all both have children. We're not pushing that. That's consent. Signing a piece of paper is 100 percent consent. And we can change the words later. We'll bleep this out. <laughs> <laughs> whatever I want to. Whatever I want it to be. Again, unless you say no, it's a yes. Everybody, Robbie agrees. We all agree here. That's a clip. <laughs> Oh, whatever, whatever Mara wants is a clip. Let's just no, fucking that's make... a clip. Why don't you ask? You should say if if. Go ahead, talk to the camera. What is it? What it, you tell me? You were no, no, no. Go ahead. This. Say right there. No, because I think <laughs> that anything that isn't a yes is a no. Yeah, we're we're agreeing there. Okay, no, because you're saying if it's not a no, it's a yes, and that's I disagree. Yes. You can get a lot in trouble that way. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we need to make sure we're crystal clear on this. I think Barr doesn't understand what a joke is. and we're No, because this is what I'm saying. Jokes aren't funny to me. It's not that they're not funny to me. It's just like, you're going to have a kid and the kids can't decipher jo yes jokes <laughs> and no jokes. Like, I literally had Connie's daughter at the, the tulip field and... I, like, I love the, how you're just throwing names at that. I one no of my idea. like close girlfriends. I mean, I don't have that many kids in my life, but her kid is one of the kids I have actual access to in my life. But I don't have access to many kids. But hers, ever I did. since uh, the arrest. No. Nah. <laughs> you say like that. Access to kids. <laughs> I'm not allowed. Access to kids. Like, like, much access. Well, because I feel like I'm kids are so it. cool. <laughs> You I'm appealing right now. No, guys, seriously, think about it. <laughs> you ain't never coming around my kid, boy. <laughs> think about it. You the judge said saying? I can't go around kids anymore. Like, you can't be around, like, you can't just be around kids. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't be around kids, apparently. No, anyone in general. Like, imagine if you were at your kid's school, right? And there's just this random guy there. You'd be like, what is this guy doing? Yeah, right. And the guy's like, oh, I just want to be around kids. Everyone would be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I would beat the shit out of that guy. So, I so what, what I'm was, saying I is you, what you, mean. you don't have funny. access to many kids. <laughs> But when I you do, want more access to kids is what you're saying. No. <laughs> you want, you I need like more kids. I select kid John. You're selective select. with the kids you pick. No, we're done with this. <laughs> Cut it off. Yes. You, you want more kids that you no, like but around. what I'm saying, yeah, well, some kids are cool and some kids aren't. Depending on what they look like. I'm not going to be around your kid if it's not a cool kid, period. Yeah. Uh, unless, like there's, I've had friends where like I beef with their kids and it's not a joke. <laughs> Because they have red hair and they're fucking weird. Like, well, they think I'm fucking weird. I'm like, can, I can hear you. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Mommy, why she got pink hair? Like, no, like older kids. But anyways, whatever. All I'm saying is when me and my one of my closest childhood friends' uh -huh. daughter go and do activities, the one day we went and we picked tulips and I had her asking the tulips, like, hey, can I pick you? <laughs> It was like <laughs> me. Mara is so Mara, cool is when it comes to no, 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 She's never been around a kid before. She's I'm <laughs> teaching her consent at a young age. So it was what? me. What me. were you doing to her? Oh gosh, well, no, stop. but <laughs> she is digging herself the deepest hole I'm to put saying, that kid in. <laughs> I'm saying like you have to ask and like you need yeses, not no answer is not a yes. That is the beginning. So and did the this end kid give you consent story. or not? Yeah, she was so cute. You get <laughs> no, not me. Yes. <laughs> Are you guys done being fucking weirdos? As if you're not the one with kids. I don't have any kids yet. I could. I'll. I'll extend an olive branch. I'll extend an olive branch. You remember that? Yeah. Well, I remember when I was younger. I was like 21. And I was living in Vegas, and I knew a married couple with kids. And they invited me to their kid's birthday party. She was like two or three years old, whatever it was. I remember having to go to a store and pick out an outfit for like a two or three year old girl. And I couldn't have looked more creepy in my mind. <laughs> I went in there and I picked the first outfit I saw. I was like, I just like, I want this. Do you guys have cards? It's for a birthday. <laughs> He's like, I swear. I'm, and you actually have tissue paper and a bag. <laughs> I'm going to a party. This isn't for somebody locked in my basement. I know yes is yes. And like, no why no. does your brain go there? We were on the same. I just fucking was going with your brain. You're no. the one that can't go around kids, apparently. Damn. This is crazy. I know. The, one of these days, your lawyer will fight this case. You'll be allowed to live around a, a school again. No. Oh, you don't want to live there. Because of the temptation. Honestly, I'm not even good around kids. Like, I don't know. <laughs> You're dangerous? No. Uh, like, um, I I just am like, yeah, you can do whatever you want and say whatever you want and do yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, like, you got to, like, they got to know, like, what to do and say. Like, like literally, my, do my friend's daughter is one of the only kids in my existence. And so, like, whenever I'm with her, I'll be like, can I help her pick her, like, outfit? And Jesus. Well, because it's fun. Kids just get to get, they can wear whatever they want. Like, she'll be like, I want to wear a cheetah and cow print and tulle. And I'm like, that outfit is fire. And it's like, definitely doesn't match, but she likes it. But so if like, Justin wore it, it would be terrible. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Justin's not allowed to wear anything fun. That's why I only wear black t-shirts now, because it doesn't matter what I say or do. I look stupid. Mar, there's a, there's a camera in front of your face. We've been going for about an hour. And before you get locked up in prison and your lawyer can't get you out anymore, let's promote what you want to promote. I just want to promote good consent. <laughs> You're making it worse. How did you make it worse? At what age can I'm kids not, give consent? It's not just about kids, Justin. <laughs> you made it about kids. No. I'm done here. So I want to thank Marv for coming out. Check out Fairy Garden Mindset where you can check out clothes for adults and kids or just adults? Just adults. <laughs> just adult, <laughs> just adult minds and growing kids. Uh, thank Iron R Studios for having us out. If you want to do I'm something fucking creative, real. fuck, come here and do it. Got music, podcast. If you want to take a picture with me and Rob, you can see how fat he is. And sell. I guess I'm getting fat again, so whatever. Uh, like, subscribe, share, you know, do all those cute things. And then uh, Mari's probably not going to share anything from this episode because she's mean. Um, 
But yeah, Robbie, you can hit that button. I mean, why do you do these things? Do what? The, to kids. What do they do to you? <laughs> I mean,